Hello, welcome to North Trail. This is Paula Frazier, and we're gonna get a quick walkthrough on the Tiffin Wayfair. So please come join me. We're gonna start on the outside today. I want you to come around and take a look at this storage compartment door. This is all made by Tiffin. It is actually rolled aluminum and then you have foam insulation in between your outside storage compartment doors. There's not hardly anyone that is building a door like Tiffin is. This is more like your Class A Tiffin motorhomes. The Zephyr, the Phaeton, the Bus, they all have the same compartment doors. So you're getting the best in this Class C motorhome from Tiffin. You'll notice too, all your doors have struts. So that's gonna help with loading and unloading. It also has a safety chain on it so the wind won't catch it and blow it against your coach. And literally, you can close this with one finger. And so right here, this is of course your outside entertainment center. You've got your LG flat screen, large outside TV for entertainment. And then when you're not using it, of course you just close it and you also have a lock so you can uh, lock that for safety. Here is your 3.2 Onan diesel generator. This is very efficient. Um, you can put hours upon hours on this generator. You can run it 24 seven. That's actually what it's made for. So if you, wanted, if you like to do a lot of dry camping, you've got the greatest source right here for power. This is another storage facility right here. This is actually a quick connect to an outside propane outlet. So if you'd like to hook up your grill, that's what this hose is for. It's already here for you. You can see this right here is what you're gonna connect it to. It runs right down through this porthole here. So you can have all your grills set up right up here, up underneath your awning. No ozite carpet in your storage compartment. So if it gets wet, guess what? It's not gonna mold. Then we've got a little storage right here as well. It goes all the way across. This is great for fishing rods, golf clubs, whatever you want to store in here. You've got plenty of space. Also has a lock on the door. I want to point this out too. You have locks on all your compartment doors, so nobody's going to be able to get into it while you're not at your RV if you have them locked. Around the back, we have the fiberglass rear camera right up here. We have the frameless windows, which are very attractive, easy to open. Then you also have your 5,000 pound towing capacity here with this hitch, which is already there. This is all a one piece molded all the way down, fiberglass bumper. And that's all one piece molded right from the roof. On each side, you can see that you have drain spouts. That is actually for water runoff if it's raining or condensation drip. This is your freshwater fill right here in the rear. Very easy to get to. This is another storage compartment for you and you can see that you've also got your surge guard protector already in here. You have a 30 amp electrical cord, goes through this little port hole so you don't have to leave your door open. So that just opens up, goes right down in and then you can plug it up. Right here is your sewer compartment. So right here is your SureFlow water pump. If you had an, a problem with your SureFlow water pump, it's very easy to access. You don't have to go up underneath the bed or pull drawers out to get to it. It's all right here. This is actually your whole house water filtration system. Very easy to screw this off and put your new filters in. So it's gonna give you good drinking water if you choose to drink the water out of your coach. This is your outside shower, which is gonna make cleanup a lot easier for you once you do your dump. You've got hot and cold water, so you can do your cleanup right here instead of taking it inside. Black tank rinse right here. And this is where you hook up your fresh water hose right here. So you just pull the water hose through here, hook it up here, you've got water pressure on demand. This is a really big deal, folks. I don't know of anyone else that is actually in this price point that is doing a one-piece seamless slide out. No lines, no seals, no water leaks whatsoever. All one piece. Okay, now we're gonna walk around and um, let me show you where your fuel is. It doesn't have a locking cap on it. However, you do have to open the door to get to your fuel, so it's great. Once you open your door, you open this and you can close the door back to fill up your coach. 
Diesel fuel is going to give you a little reminder right there. Diesel only. When you buy a Tiffin Wayfair, this is an option to get the Diamond Shield on the front fenders and on the front hood. It goes all the way down protecting your front end from any love bugs, but most importantly, rock chips. Your coach is always going to look very nice up front, no rock chips. Okay, folks, right here, we're going to go into the coach here. But before we go in, I'd like to show you where your house batteries are. Very easy to access. Basically, you just flip up these latches right here. Take this and turn it back. This is where all your batteries are. Very easy to maintain um, and access. Then when you're done, you just slide it back in, lock it into place. We use the Firefly for the multiplex. So the multiplex is gonna run a lot of things in this coach. The first thing you've got is your awning extend, awning retract. Then you've got all your lighting on here too. So main lighting, and of course it turns it all on for you. This is your master light. So if you want to turn all your lights off before you leave, hit that one button, it shuts everything off. When you get back home, you can push that one button, it turns everything on. Right here is a battery disconnect. Right here is uh, your step. So if you don't want the step going in and out every time you come in and out of your coach while you're camping, just turn the switch off. That way every time you open the door, your step's already gonna be there for you. This is a new feature. This is Bigfoot leveling, Jack. This is all hydraulic leveling in a 24-foot motorhome. That's unheard of. And it's all automatic. You push a button on, push a button auto level, you're done. Right here, we have a trash can. So this actually, you have a little trash drop from the top while you're cooking. So if you're cutting up vegetables or anything, you can toss it in the basket. This is actually just storage up front. And then you have the big flat screen LG TV right there for your viewing pleasure, right here from your sofa. Very easy to see, it's set at an angle and actually it does maneuver around so if you want to move it around a little bit depending on if you're cooking or if you're sitting on the sofa you can make it more visible this is all solid wood just check out the hinges on these doors these are all residential style hinges uh, heavy duty there is no uh, glued or staple construction in these cabinets they're all solid and I have to tell you folks, there's a lot of cardboard cabinetry out there. And so come on in and we're gonna just go through the galley here real quick. This is a new faucet that we have. So this comes out, you can push this for a higher spray. All stainless. These are real Corian countertop. And, and then you know, you've just got your common two burner stove cook top. You've got a convection microwave here and it is the high point. It's a good size little microwave for you. And the storage is phenomenal in here. This comes up, you've got two functional shelves in here. And this one is a larger, so if you do use this cabinet for a pantry, then you can put larger boxes like box of cereal or whatever you wanna put in there. But however, you do have a very nice, it's small, but you do have it. This is great for canned goods, great for spices. Uh, use it for whatever you want. And then when you're done, you just slide it right back in, lock it into place. Right here, you have great storage up underneath your sink. And this is a new feature, folks. We normally do not order ours with the central vac. I don't know why we haven't, but this is new. So instead of storing a bunch of hoses and attachments, it's all right here. All you do is take this little cap off, you pull this out and it's gonna extend right up to the front and all the way to the back. Turn it on, you're ready to clean up any mess you want to. Really easy to use and you do have a floor piece for this too. Right here you have a tuck and roll, excuse me, a tuck and tumble sofa bed. So this actually rolls out, this lifts up, and then it'll come on out and it's gonna suck up to the wall real tight. That way, if you do have guests sleeping on it, you're gonna have plenty of room to get through here. So if you wanna go outside while your guests are still sleeping, you can. It's not gonna block you into the coach. 
And it's also a safety feature if there was ever a fire in the coach, you're able to get right out with no problems. Right here, you're gonna have electrical outlets. You also have the USB ports. Okay, so folks, these are great reading lights. You just push the little button right there, it lights up for you, and then push it again for the light. There you go, isn't that sweet? Roller shades for privacy. One nice blackout shade, very easy to use. Right back up. This is your uh, Jealousy windows, and these do open up, so you just crank that right out. And you'd be surprised how much uh, wind will actually come in that window. So let's move on to the uh, bedroom area. This, you can see you've got two twin beds, but the good thing about it is, is if you want to make this out to a one king size bed, guess what, you can. All you've got to do is open up this small compartment right here, See how it's hinged? It's gonna stay up for you. So this just pulls out, you put it in between the two beds and you've got like three or four more of these in here. So once you get them all laid down, then you take these pieces that are on the back side of the bed and you're gonna roll them over here and put them in the center. This one has one over here, you'll put it in the center and voila, you've got a huge king size bed. So if you like sleeping with your mate, you still can just make it into a king. And then let me show you your closet area in here. Um, we've got the jump seats that actually go in your front seats in here. But this is a closet hanger right here. It's a good size closet. You can put quite a bit in here. And your hangers are going to stay on that rack. And so over here, you've got another hanger, which is a little different than that one. Uh, still a nice size closet. Then you have your pull-out TV. This is really unique because your TV is not hanging up on one side or the other. It pulls all the way out. So both of you sleeping back here have great visibility of your flat screen TV from the bed. And then in here also you've got all this deep storage. And guys, you can really fold your t-shirts, your shorts, stack them high. I mean, you can put a lot of clothing in there. Back here, same thing all the way across. And then right here is where most of your control center is um, for the house. You have your Truma AquaGo hot water heater. That's a tankless hot water heater. It gives you an endless supply of hot water. Nonstop, you can take back-to-back -back hot showers. This is your generator start for your 3.2 Onan generator. Basically, you turn it on, you push a start button, and it starts right up for you. This right here is if you're just watching TV on antenna, then you've got the antenna. And if you actually are hooked up to part cable in the campground, you switch it over to the part cable. And then you'll have cable on the inside. And right here is your solar power controller. Controller, pardon me. Um, solar panels do not come standard on this, but solar prep is standard and it's already up there. And um, while I'm speaking about the roof too, that is also a one piece fiberglass molded roof. They don't do Brytec, they don't do rubber. It is actually fiberglass, which is much better for you for maintenance, stability, Okay, so right here, this is really great. This actually folds up. And then you have a little storage area right here, guys, for your two tables. So you got two different size tables. You just want a snack tray, this is it, or a game table. And then you have your larger dinner table. So you got two individual different table legs. They'll both fit both tables, so it doesn't matter which one you grab. But one is going to go right up front, uh, right in between your passenger and driver's seat. And then the other one will go right in front of your sofa. So the big one definitely goes in front of the sofa. But how nice and neat is that? Closes up. Nice big drawers up underneath this other side of the bed. Wow. Put a lot of clothes in there too. Electrical outlet with <clears throat> USB ports here as well. So you've got it all in the back bedroom. Okay, so we're gonna look at the bathroom real quick. This is a new configuration from last year's model. Um, it was a little bit different. So on the new concept, this actually opens up, connects right up here by a magnet. 
and then this door, which is your shower is behind, is gonna close off this direction. So you'll have a big wide open space, plenty of room to maneuver around. Um, your shower has got a door behind this door and I knew they did, but I wanted to see what kind of door it is. It is actually the roll door. It's the easiest operating door for a shower. It, it really is. And you have lots of room in there still, and then you still have the skylight. So if you have a, a large husband that's really tall, and then you've got a nice little sink bowl in here. Of course, you've got your potty, nice mirror. Here's a fantastic fan for you right here. And you've got great storage on both sides. This is fully hinged. It's a piano hinge. So it's gonna be there to last. And this is all a solid wood door. You've already got a towel rack right here that you can hang your towels out to dry. All new leather seats, all new heated leather seats. And these are all power seats too. And this is not called the smart wheel like they have in the big diesel pushers, but it's very similar. Everything for you is right here at your pad from your volume on the stereo to answering your phone. So you've got your, you can pair your phone with this so it's hands-free while you're traveling down the road. Don't have to worry about trying to answer your phone. It's all right here for you. Navigation system, this is really big. So here's the navigation system right here. And looky here, it's gonna show you where all your fuel stations are. And since this is a diesel motorhome, guess what? The little green diesel fuel, that means they have diesel fuel and so if you need a bigger picture of your map you can actually spread this out or bring it back in just like you do on your smartphones that is wonderful technology working for us right here so it shows you right here in Fort Myers okay so let's go back to your home and by the way this is a seven and a half inch screen right here Wow, it's so big, you, you know, when your rear camera is up here, uh, you're not gonna miss anything. Um, this is your radio, of course. The radio system is awesome. Um, great sound, great speakers. And then we're gonna scroll over here to your information. Uh, you got different apps for Mercedes right here. <clears throat> this is your settings button right here. So here's your van. Let's see what we got here. Assistance. So you've got, you have got lane change assist. You've got active brake assist, uh, attention assist. That's if you're a little groggy or sleepy, it's gonna alert you if you're getting out of your lane or too close to someone, it's gonna automatically brake for you. Um, active lane assist, lane keep assist. So radio, media, navigation let's say you're a mile down the road from mcdonald's and you want some wi-fi so you know if you've got someone that doesn't that offers free internet like mcdonald's or Dunkin' donuts you know you can actually have that come into your coach if you're within a mile away from uh, mcdonald's or dunkin donuts or anyone that offers a uh, free internet without any security on the um automatic engine start keyless now even though it is keyless you do have to have the keys close to you if you do not have the keys close to you and you've been out of your coach for let's say three hours to 24 hours you will have to get your engine key put it in this little slot that goes right down here i know it's hard to see but my finger's right on it the key slides right into there then your engine will be able to read that uh, the key fob. My name is Paula Frazier. I really appreciate you being with me today. If I can help you on a Tiffin Wayfair, I work here full time. Would love to help you. Love to see you. Come see us.